others, Allah helps you, but you heal at the same time. Did you know that when you assist others, the fulfillment that you get within you is something that releases some form of whatever it may be. I'm not a doctor, but I do know spiritually you are fulfilled to a degree that you begin to appreciate the small favors of Allah in your life and consider them large and very big. Go and see the children crying across the globe. We went all over. We've been to the Middle East. We've been elsewhere. I've been with Abdullah Aid. And I wouldn't go and waste my time if I thought that there was anything wrong with such an organization, such a charity. And mashallah, tabarakallah, the work, not second hand, first hand, done. Reaching out personally to people, delivering the goods to the people, subhanallah. What joy and fulfillment I got, I can't even describe. And yet I was there in my own way as a volunteer. Later on, I agreed to become an ambassador, honorary. To say, inshallah, we'll take this cause, we'll work for it, we'll actually promote it, let the people know who and what Abdullah Aid stands for, where it came from, who is behind it, what they do and what they've achieved so far and what they're aiming to achieve. But in your lives, my brothers and sisters, it's impossible not to have a problem or an issue or a difficulty or hardship. It's impossible. The reason is when Allah made you, He already wrote your examination paper before you were born and there have to be some tough questions there otherwise it's not called a test Allah says we created you to test you if Allah says he created you to test you you're gonna have some difficult questions when you have an examination at school and all the questions are quite easy what happens to you even if you got a hundred percent everyone else has a hundred percent so the horse and the donkey are tied with the same rope right no one knows the difference but when you have difficult questions, five people in the whole hall got all of them right. And now we're talking about the horses. And subhanallah, a few of them didn't even know what language the paper was written in because they'd been sleeping, pretending like they attended all the Zoom lessons and they didn't. You know what I mean?